Hello trainers, we are back this week and we are taking a look at PG as you can see. I am outside in the London Garden, so please do mind any of the city sounds. And it is a little bit windy and a little bit cloudy, but these are PG's favorite weather patterns. So we'll just go ahead and work with that. Just get a few growls real quick. So before I get started, if you like these kinds of videos, please drop a like and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when new videos are up. I am planning on doing one of these for every Pokemon ever released, so this will take a while. Let's go ahead and get started. We are taking a look at this Pidgey. I'll, I'll get, it's a very small Pidgey. I'll get eye level with it a bit. There is no differences between male and female Pidgey, but we will be covering the normal form and the shiny form as those are the only ones currently released in Pokemon Go. They have not been corrupted by Team Go Rocket. So we will be looking back at those in the future when and if those are corrupted. For this Pidgey, you can tell that it is a bipedal Pokemon. Its two legs are a, a bright pink with three claws coming out of each leg. That same color is the beak that Pidgey has, the, the nice pink and when you see Pidgey open up its wings you can see that the, the bottom of the wing is mostly the cream color and that runs through the bottom of its body you can see a, a bit of the of, of the feathers and the ruffles on the midsection and I, I really like the little thunderbolt sideways thunderbolt that you can see on its chest and between its eyebrows it's just a it's just a nice little touch to, to show you just how how plump Pidgey is and how, how pudgy, I guess. It, it goes to that word and, and we'll talk a bit about that word later on at the back end of this video. You also have the top, the top of the wingspan. You can see that it is a lighter brown. I like this, uh, this different angle. The lighter brown runs from the middle of its head you do have the eyebrows that are the lighter creamy color and it's kind of like a haircut <laughs> if you can if you can see let's not get too close but you can see the hair how it goes back and, and we'll see that grow with the, the evolutions but i just like how the wings are cut and you can see the, where the ruffles are the, the different layers and if you look towards its back you can see the the three parts of the tail so Pidgey is very warm I would suspect but we also have the eyes the eyes are are quite small but the they're surrounded by this black this black lining is kind of like a, it's wearing a not a blindfold but you know it's it's getting ready to rob a store or something <laughs> and the actually the the way that its brows its eyebrows are it just makes it seem like it's a, a, a tiny bit annoyed at something but yeah those are I, I think those are the main the main things for this normal form Pidgey that we will cover I'm going to get a few a few more growls. You can see how how it moves. So let's go ahead and move on to the shiny form of this Pokemon. Okay trainers, we are back and we are now taking a look at the shiny form of Pidgey. So the last one was a male and this is a female Pidgey. I just want to get a few few growls. And as you can tell from the get-go, there are a few differences. The beak, for example, it's um, it's a light orange. The beak and the legs are about the same, so the the colors are altered. It's not very radical, but it is noticeable. the The lighter brown is a tiny bit darker, and the cream color is a tiny bit darker. You also have the the little um, thunderbolt zigzag lines that are a lighter color including between its eyebrows, but the blacks don't really change around its eyes. 
and I'm just gonna take a seat next to Pidgey over here but maybe we should we should get uh, an aerial shot so that you can see just the plumage going behind behind it and the wingspan you can really see those colors and I just kind of like this Pidgey it's just hanging out and minding its minding his own business so I'm kind of getting in the way of his day did I say his it's her day but anyhow these are the main differences for this shiny Pidgey you have the colors that are altered and that's really about it I am a convert into Pidgey we'll go deeper into the background coming up and hopefully you will learn as much as I have while researching into this Pokemon now let's go into the next section the Pokedex entry for Pidgey reads as follows Pidgey a common sight in forests and woods it usually hides in tall grass and so on foraging for food such as small bugs it is very docile and dislikes fighting and conflict if at all possible it will avoid battles if attacked it will often rapidly flap its wings at ground level and kick up blinding sand to protect itself. Stirring up a dust cloud also drives insect prey out into the open. When disturbed, Pidgey can ferociously strike back. Small and weak enemies are chased off and blown away by whirlwind. Pidgey's gust power creates tornadoes. Pidgey has an extremely sharp sense of direction. It is capable of unerringly return home to its nest, however far it may be removed from its familiar surroundings. Among all the flying Pokemon, it is the gentlest and easiest to capture. A perfect target for a beginning Pokemon trainer to test their Pokemon skills. Trainers, we will now review Pidgey in more detail and delve deeper into its background. Pidgey has no visible differences between male and female. Originally from the Kanto region, they can be found in forests, grasslands, fields, and cities. Grasslands and swamp edges are favorites as there are plenty of insect prey. In Pokemon Go, Pidgey does not nest but can be found quite frequently, especially in partly cloudy and windy weather. Many Pidgey have grown accustomed to dwelling in urban areas and fly to forests and fields only to find food and then return to their city nests. This Pokemon family line are well suited for rookie trainers as they are very easy to raise. Pidgey will find its food on its own, though they will eat meals given to them by their trainers and will enjoy a berry or two, especially pinkin berries. Pidgey will eat seeds and also seek out small insects in the tall grass. They normally stay agile and on the move because of predators and a search for food. There is an island called Pudgy Pidgey Island in the Johto region that is hard to get to because it's surrounded by dangerous whirlpools. The Pokemon Protection Agency has declared this isle a Pokemon preserve over 50 years ago because of its population of uniquely overweight Pidgey. The Pudgy Pidgey over time lost the need to fly as the whirlpools protect the island from natural predators and Pidgey have less of a need for quick escapes. As a result, most of the Pidgey on this island ate so much they eventually grew overweight. As mentioned in the Pokedex entry, Pidgey have an extremely keen sense of direction. They can always find their way back to their nests no matter how far they flow from it. This is one of the main reasons why they were commonly used as carrier Pidgeys. This use slowed down with the invention of email, phones, and other electronic ways of communication, but it did not end. In Ikrutik City, an old-fashioned city located in northern Johto, a Pidgey Express service is continued by Malachi and his grandfather. They deliver letters, newspapers, 
and medicine to the islands nearby that have limited access to the mainland. It is not an easy job, and Pidgey still have to be trained rigorously and cared for throughout. It is basically more than a full-time job. In my research, I learned of a Pidgey named Ken, who was training for the Pidgey Express and got hurt. There is still always danger of predators in the sky, so Pidgey have to always be careful and be fast. Ken did recover and in fact ended up playing a role in saving trapped Pidgey. They were trapped by Team Rocket and they were carrying medicine over to Nurse Joy in the Pokemon Center. Ken's hard work and tenacity earned him his place as an official full member of the Pidgey Express. Pidgey are docile but amicable. It prefers to avoid confrontation with other Pokemon and sometimes humans, but mostly they are comfortable around humans and will not give much trouble. When they sense danger, they almost always flee, careful about startling a Pidgey. Although they pose little threat to trainers, they are skittish and will whip up small gusts that can knock people over. I did come across the story of Pudgy Pidgey Island, but especially the story of Orville, the Pidgey that flew to the sun. Earlier, I covered Pudgy Pidgey that, when not in danger of predators because of the island protection by whirlpools, decided to just keep eating. There was one amongst their flock called Orville who was inspired by the painting slash legend of the Pidgey who flew to the sun. Orville decided that instead of eating endlessly, he would train until one day he could achieve his goal. Helped and coached by Team Rocket's talking Meowth, who had a similar goal that he achieved, Orville was able to achieve this goal as well. Orville flew up to the stars. Even through the dangers this posed for his life, he made it and was able to return to tell his tale. This great achievement only goes to show how special any Pokemon can be. When faced with these options, Orville decided to be different. Not to say Pudgy Pidgey are less, they did show bravery in helping with the crash landing of the balloon, a very brave and inspiring Pokemon without a doubt. The name Pidgey is a corruption of pigeon, or a combination of budgie, a type of bird, chickadee, a type of bird, or pudgy, referring to its plump physique. Its name in Japanese is popo. It may be derived from the onomatopoeia of the sound a pigeon makes. My initial thoughts on Pidgey were that it was a bit useless. After the research that I have done, like with other Pokemon, some of these assumptions and initial thoughts have been stripped away. No Pokemon should really be discounted, and through this research, I am learning that more and more. Yes, there are a lot of Pidgeys sometimes, but they are part of the life cycle. It was interesting to see the different personalities and stories I came across for Pidgey. Orville and Ken had something in common that can manifest itself in any Pokemon, but also in any trainer or person out there. That desire to be different and achieve a dream really endeared me to Pidgey. While we don't come across these stories for every Pokemon, they are a great example of how their abilities can manifest and help them achieve their goals. Pidgey's ability to travel long distances and always remember its way back especially helped them train to be part of the Pidgey Express. Not only did they get to deliver personal letters and the news, but they also got to help other fellow Pokemon by delivering much-needed medicine to remote Pokemon centers. And for Orville, he decided to trade the survival focus to training for the goal to fly to the sun. This, in contrast to the fellow Pidgey who traded their survival focus for food and becoming Pudgy. Pidgey is a great starter Pokemon to add to your team. They will be loyal, they will work hard, and if trained well, you will have a powerful Pokemon in the end to help you take down your opponents.
Okay, trainers, if I missed anything or if you have any thoughts on Pidgey, please add them in the comment section below. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified when a new video is up. I plan to release one every week with the goal of completing every Pokemon in every generation currently released. Please follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, Pinterest, and Twitter. The handle is at London Instinct for updates, posts, and stories. I am having fun featuring art submissions from trainers around the world, so feel free to submit yours too. See you next week, trainers. Bye!